Hey. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So I watched your face plant episode and I absolutely mm -hmm. loved it for oh, so many reasons. Um, I just, as an adult, you know, I've de definitely dealt with as a journalist, like being really excited about a project and then having someone mm -hmm. completely trash it. And then, you know, your name's attached to it. Like you were saying, you're just like, oh, that's, that's hurtful. So I really loved what you said about that and kind of overcoming dealing with right. negativity. And I have a question for you, for younger creatives who are just trying to get into the business that you're in, what advice mm. do you have for them? Mm, it's, it's, you know, it's similar. It's, it's kind of similar advice. It's, uh, you know, just remember that there's a, a real you underneath the stuff that you're working on and that, you know, that, that you're the valuable part, not necessarily, it's not all what you do or what you put out, but the person that you are is, you know, has value beyond all of that. So if things don't go right and work or, or, or your career creativity, just don't, uh, don't, I guess, in a way, don't over identify yourself with the things you're doing. Remember, you're a person, you got people who love you, you have friends, you have family, you have, you know, there's, there's, there's value to you as a person. So you can hold on to that if, if other things aren't, aren't going on that great. So true. So mm. Spider-Verse obviously was an amazing movie. It's phenomenal for so many reasons. Um, one of the things that stuck out to my children because they didn't know the Miles story ahead of time, they're more familiar with mm -hmm. Peter Parker, but they actually really loved seeing that Miles comes from a biracial family because we're a biracial mm -hmm. family. And mm -hmm. it's always nice to see that on TV because my kids mm -hmm. sometimes feel like they're the only ones that their parents don't sure. look the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when you're mm -hmm. looking at projects and getting involved with something, is representation something you're actively looking to incorporate into whatever it is you're working on? Yeah, uh, definitely. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, it's one of those things that honestly, it's not gonna change unless people make it change, you know? And it's, it's also, uh, I, I think the thing that really struck me during the making of Spider-Verse was that it's, it's only unusual in our media, you know? I mean, you step out your front door and you look around, you know, there's a million Miles Moraleses walking around, you know, there's a million, you know, biracial couples or, or, or you name it, or people in, in, in occupations or places that, you know, if you're watching movies and TV shows, you, you don't necessarily see. So for us, it was like, well, how do we make a movie that feels more like what people actually experience in the world, which is this, it's just a naturally more diverse, colorful, colorful world, unless you're stuck in some tiny enclave that you never go out of. But if you're, you know, in the bulk of where people live, there's like, no, there's all kinds of people and people doing all kinds of things, you know? So it's, it's, how are we just more honest about what the world actually is? I think that's kind of the guiding light for me, rather than, you know, feeling like you've got to uh, like, you know, two from column A and one from column B and, you know, you know, Rubik's cube or whatever. It's like, what, what is real for the world? What feels right? And uh, to me, that, that tends to get you something that feels more uh, fair and honest. Well, I appreciate that. My kids appreciate that. <laughs> oh, good. I hope so. so also in your interview, you mentioned that you're a big comic book nerd. And oh, yeah. I'm a big comic book nerd. So I have to know, like, what are your favorite stories, your characters? Is there anyone, I know you've done Spider-Man now. Is there any other mm -hmm. character you'd like to get involved with in the future? Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, you know, it's my, my comic book reading kind of, I, you know, especially as, I, as I've gotten older, it goes a little more on and off. But my my old favorites, I was an X-Men fanatic way back in the day. I loved, loved, loved. Uh, I always just loved the idea of the X-Men, the outcast kids who were at the school. And, you know, that's, you know, who wouldn't love that when you're a, comic, a young comic book nerd? Um, I also always loved uh, the Fantastic Four like the classic, uh, especially the old classic Jan uh, Stanley Jack Kirby uh, FF of the 60s, uh, 
was like, you know, I don't, just the, the, the feeling of that is so hard to imagine topping. I'd love to see a great Fantastic Four project done the right way. So that, that would be really something. Superman, I mean, there's, I think he's such a, such an amazing inspirational character. I wish there was a great Superman movie out now because I think it would help a lot of people if it was done right. So kind of the, I, I tend to be sort of, you know, for the most part, the kind of the old classic guys. And then there's, you know, there's the other kind of edgier, like, you know, there's, there's plenty of other little edgy way out things, but that, yeah, there, for the most part, that stuff isn't usually superheroes or anything like that, but. I like that you say that you want to see it done right because I've had that yeah. conversation many times with yeah, people yeah, yeah, recently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the comics, you got to work with Stan Lee and yes. that's, I didn't get a chance to meet him. He was supposed to come to our local con the mm -hmm. year before he died and he didn't make it. But yeah. what was that like? Ah, it was incredible. I mean, it was, you know, it's somebody, you know, uh, growing up reading those comics, you know, you'd read the little Stan soapbox box in there, you know, in the old in the old Marvel comics, and it it uh, just made you felt like there was somebody like who was just funny and warm and like was kind of welcoming you, welcoming you into this special group, and uh, you know, when you're back when I was reading comic books, it was nowhere near as pos as popular <laughs> to be a comic book reading nerd, you know. So stepping into that feeling of reading those and this guy talking to you, uh, it just, it, it made you feel welcome and it made you feel like, yeah, there's other people out there like me, you know, there's, there's a, there's, it's kind of, kind of like the, it's the same thing in Spider-Verse when everybody's going, you're like me, you know, it's like, it was a welcoming uh, uh, feeling of connection. So, uh, it was really important in my life and finally getting to meet him and thank him for, you know, this world, this universe that he created that was so, uh, that was so, at, you know, at the core of those Marvel comics, there's just great messages, you know, they, it was really about a bet, making a better world and treating people better. And, um, you know, it, it's not just people in costumes punching each other, but they had ideals and values and, you know, it, it was a, it was it was really inspiring. So, it was it was really great to finally meet him and sort of like get to pay tribute to him that way. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is there anything that you're working on now that you can share? I know sometimes those projects are like NDAs and you can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's like it's it's so frustrating because it. It takes so long working on these. There's stuff I've been working on for like a year that I still can't talk about, and it's, it drives me up a wall. But uh, there's a uh, there's a few uh, there's a few animated features that I'm uh, involved in as an executive producer, and that's basically like you know you're like a consultant. You're one of the creative team basically. So there's several there's several projects there for a couple of different studios, and uh, there's some live action. Uh, live action projects uh, that I'm attached to to direct that, you know, because of COVID-19, a lot of that stuff is kind of stuck on the runway. And some of the other ones are in like, you know, early, early enough stages. Uh, I think the one that has been announced was about the, is a uh, called Love in Vain. It's about the, the blues, famous blues singer, uh, Robert Johnson, who supposedly sold soul at the crossroads. So uh, it's a, a look at hit, the legend of Robert Johnson and it's a, really super interesting movie but uh yeah the other stuff it's it's still it's all my pots on the stove that i have to keep the lids on for now <laughs> i understand <laughs> but everybody always asks if there's going to be more uh miles morales and i can say yes definitely it's on the way so are you going to be involved in that more to come well, I, you know, the studio's not too far from my house, so, you know, I, I go there and I hide in the bushes and stake out. <laughs> shout my, I throw my little paper airplanes with my ideas on through the window. <laughs> there you go. Whatever it takes, right? <laughs> so you've done, like, everything, I feel like, when it comes to working in this business. You know, you started out as an animator, you've directed, it's 
you know, you've done the gamut. Is there anything in particular you prefer doing? Uh, I really enjoy the directing process, I have to say. Um, uh, I, I, I've actually, just to semi-correct you, I've never actually been an animator myself. I started out as a storyboard artist, which is kind of a different okay. thing. It's not an actual animator though, so. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, the job I have now, it, it, it incorporates everything else I have done. So in a way, it's just like a, it feels like a natural evolution of, of stuff I was always doing. When you're a storyboard artist, you're, you're, working, you're working with a director to sort of visualize the film uh, before anybody else does, you know? So when you're a director, you're kind of doing this, you're, you're kind of doing the same thing. It just has a, a bunch of other responsibilities attached. So uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's all been sort of like one thing for me. Mm-hmm. And sorry, I miss when I mix that up. <laughs> oh, that's okay. No biggie. I just got excited. So I was like, oh, he draws because like I, I used to do that too. So. <laughs> so you said you're doing some live action stuff too. So kind of that same question. Do you prefer animation over live action or do you kind of like I know now we've got like live action reimaginings that are almost animated themselves. Yeah. Nah, it's kind of apples and oranges. I mean, there, there's a, it's, it's the weird thing for me, you know, I, I, I started out in live action and I, I, at the time I didn't have any intention of working in animation, although I don't, I always liked it and, and uh, was inspired by it. So my, uh, my sensibility and kind of the way that I think about things tends to be in a more live action way. Uh, so, you know, something like Spider-Verse, uh, as crazy as it is, a lot of the way we made that movie was to, it felt a little more live action. And so that, that made it more comfortable for me to, to work on something like Spider-Verse. But uh, I, I love both. I really love both. They're very different processes. You know, there's a lot of, uh, the animation takes like so long to do because you're, everything is being manufactured from the ground up, you know, and it, it's a different set of uh, ways of thinking about it. Uh, live action is more, you know, once you get to the point you're actually shooting, it's more spontaneous and you have, you're reacting more in the moment to outside forces changing the, you know, your plans. So it's two, it's kind of two different mindsets. And if you can adapt to both of those, then uh, I think you, you'll, you'll enjoy them equally. Awesome. Well, Mm -hmm. thank you so much for taking time out to talk with me. My kids no, are like, that. you're so cool, mom. You're talking to the spider uh, guy. <laughs> yeah. They should talk to my kids. They would be like, please get out of here. <laughs> uh, so I, have a great day. Thank you so much. Okay. Same to you. Take care.